Hi guys, welcome to the channel. We've had a bit of a change around. We've got a couple of cars up here. We've got my uh, FTX Outback 2 and we've got the Edmund Enduro Sandero long to Sean that is not standard anymore, is it? No, it's got the engine, it's got the element thing on the back of it and a new servo. And tyres? Oh, and the tyres. And the tyres. <laughs> yeah, they're G-Mate tyres. Off the bomb. Oh, right. G-Mate tyres off the bomb. There you go then. Okay, right. What we're going to do, go through here first and then we get round to the other bits. bit deceiving from this angle because it uh, it does lean a bit towards where the camera is. Got two options when you come out of here. You can go down the steep one just there or run this one which goes directly onto the rocks at the moment. With one headlight coming through there. I'll go straight on. Edmund and Giro doing the taking the difficult route. Doing the Italian job special as he comes down the pole there. Very steep, a lot of angle on there. And he nails it. Going across onto here. As you come across onto the logs, there's lots of uh, very deep holes that you can lose your axles in. As I'm sure the uh, FTX will show you in a minute. Okay, we'll go all the way back. There you go. See, told you. Cheers. Fair enough. Right, we're thinking behind that was to put my tire on there and give it a lift over, but it hasn't worked. There we go. Self recovery. Onto these sleepers we've got here. Filled in quite a few of the holes with uh, the sand and stuff out of the uh, all the astroturf Astro that we've been using. So it's nice and it goes well to uh, get your wheel stuck in there and you're wondering what's happening. There we go. This is the uh, Fanduro obstacle we've got here, one of them. This is a really tight one. <coughs> like that. Yeah, that didn't work quite so well, did it? No. Try again. It, it, really it grabs just there. Yeah. And your tyre's trying to turn, and that tyre up there's climbing, and it just throws it sideways. There we go. We'll get up here. Like that. There we go. And this do. Actually had a weird off the edge there. Front wheel. You okay now? Hey. 
but only the front and the back wheel off the right hand edge. Yes. It grips there and doesn't grip here, so it yeah. turns the truck. Just like that. Right, invisible winch. There we go. Got it. Better weight distribution in the uh, in the element there. And a dismount. Only five out of ten for that. Oh. That leaves us nice. This is the new mud pit. This leaves us nicely into the new mud pit we got going here. Basically, this whole thing that we've done here, we just blocked that off, made it a mud pit. And uh, it's about how deep? It's about, it's about an inch. No, it, no, it's quite, actually, it's quite deep. It's about three inches deep, but it's cement at the bottom, so. Oh, yeah, of yeah. course, yeah. It goes down and up and down and up again over the got, sandbags yeah. at the end. So, yeah, it's pretty good. It does, yeah, because what because this is very light, it uh it just skips over the top basically. Like that. There we go. Right, where should we go now? Alright, we go uh follow the gonna follow the trench. Follow the trench over and then just just come out where the log is. Yeah. yeah. Go up there. Okay. Ooh. Looking at the camera, trying to steer. Oh, we're muddy tyres now, you've got no grip. We're going to have a bit of wood. Yeah. Now we come down the waterfall. Yeah. So you can see the... Getting the waterfall from the wrong, wrong way. Oh, nicely done. I like that. It was very. <laughs> that was uh, quite a nice little. Um... That's a drag brake. I only put it on 90%, so it just slowly lets it roll into it. The trouble is, oh, that was good. So, what? There's a, this is the difference between the, the long back mounted battery over behind the back axle and the battery mounted over the front axle. Oh, yeah, just, yeah. And look, the difference in the wheelbase as well, obviously. You know I mean? Yes, oh, yeah, that's true. Right, I'm going to try it again. Are you? Are you going to try again? Yeah, I am. One of my, one of my tours has got a, a dip in it. There we go. Thank you very much.
I just want to ram the back of your car. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, cheap Chinese tyres that uh, I'll put it down to. And this is now the right sort of depth with cement in the bottom again. Yep. With a few bricks and things thrown in there that aren't moving anymore. Very shallow, so there you go. Basically, that's there just to wash the tyres off mud and all that after you've been through the mud pit, obviously. What we've done, then we're going to crawl our way up here. But I'd apologise now if half of this isn't in frame because I'm trying to drive and film at the same time. I'm constantly surprised by this truck, I really am. I'm not going to go in the big top hole at the top there because oh, I will fall over. So we go in the second one and hopefully not fall over. There we go. Okay, well, let's try and go up here, it's always funny, especially when we've got wet tyres. So it's quite an angle that is. Uh, you've seen this before, obviously. The old cheapo Chinese tyres dig in well at first, but then they just slip off. So for some reason, I've got negative pressure in one of them, so there's a big hole in it. Uh, yeah. Um, just, uh, the foot, they've come back off it. You know, the foot of God. Ah, right. Oh, the foot of God was too heavy. That should that should help you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's wet tires. You ain't got a hope in hell of getting up here. Yeah, you, you have a go. What size are these? Uh, G Mate uh, MT 1904. Right, now we're going to try that one there over the ladder and that's the finish. <laughs> yeah, 
see what you're up to. go right thanks for viewing guys really appreciate it this is just what we've done at the moment we've obviously got a little bit more land over there to play with uh, get on to facebook we are the b-e-r-c-c -C, the beds electric rc club and we're on facebook if you answer the questions you can uh, get approved by running the admin and they will uh you'll be able to see what we're doing when we've got meets on which is pretty much every weekend there's the prices to join the club or you can just turn up and drive for i think it's about 10 pounds all right so thanks for viewing and we'll catch you later cheers bye